gospel exists to remove barriers between you and God, the enjoyment of God, the delight in God. It's not just to relieve your conscience and get you out of hell. Sinners want that without any new birth whatsoever. You don't need to be born again to not to want to burn. You have to be born again to be satisfied in God. This is huge that you get the goal of the gospel right. And it isn't exit from hell, entrance to heaven, golf forever. It's not the gospel. So Christian hedonism goes for broke. It wants the ultimate goal of the gospel. I love 1 Peter 3, 18 for this reason. Christ suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God. (laughs) That's why he died. He died to bring you into an enjoyment of God. And if you don't enjoy God, you're not saved. That's why he died, that you might enjoy God more than anything, more than wife, more than family, more than money, more than success, more than forgiveness, more than eternal life. Your steadfast love is better than life, Psalm 63. So that's where your Joy is to be found and Christian hedonism won't let you settle for anything less. So God made us to enjoy full and eternal pleasure in him. He sent Jesus Christ into the world to make it possible for people who deserve not one minute of happiness to have full and eternal pleasure in him forever. And finally, Christian hedonism makes two statements that prove to be, it seems, in my 45, 50 years of working on this, controversial. Um, Here they are. If you abandon your pursuit of full and eternal pleasure in God, you will not be able to glorify God or love people. Joy in God as your supreme beauty and treasure. Joy in God is essential for glorifying him from your heart and loving people from your heart. If you say joy in God, pleasure in God is like icing on the cake and the cake is Christian commitment and duty, you cannot glorify God or love people or to bring it home for our purposes here this weekend. If you do not pursue and find your pleasure supremely in God above all things, you will not be able to be generous with your resources from a heart that glorifies God and loves people. There's lots of unbelievers who are generous. There are no unbelievers who are generous from a heart that glorifies God and authentically loves people. So those are two pretty pretty radical statements. Namely, You can't glorify God if you're not pursuing your happiness in him supremely. And you can't love people if you're not pursuing your happiness in him supremely. And I want to answer the question, why is that? And then go to two passages of scripture and defend it from the Bible. So here's my answer to the first one. Why is it that you can't glorify God if you are not happy in God, not his gifts, in him? Answer. Because God is most glorified in you when you are most satisfied in him, especially in seasons of loss and suffering. Satisfaction in God is how God is glorified, especially in seasons of loss and suffering. So that's my first answer, which we'll go to the Bible too and and defend in a minute. Here's the second one. Why is it that you can't love people if you are not 
pursuing, finding your heart satisfaction in God because people are most loved by you when your joy in God overflows to draw them into it with you forever. So if you don't have joy in God, you can't draw others into joy in God, which would be what love is. 